Hello and welcome to Quiz Class. My name is Ellis and I'll be your host for today's general knowledge quiz. Today's quiz we have a hundred questions all on general knowledge. Those questions are going to be split into six categories which we'll come on to in a minute and we'd love you to let us know at the end of the video how you ranked based on these Quiz Class awards from Champion down to Explorer. Today's lineup then we have questions for you on capitals, physics, Olympics, inventors, English phrases and international organisation. And we're going to start with capitals. Question one. Bangui is the capital of which country? Nigeria, Central African Republic or Republic of the Congo? The answer is Central African Republic. Question two. Which city is the capital of the Republic of the Congo? Brazzaville? Libreville or Kinshasa? The answer is Brazzaville. Three. What is the capital of Kyrgyzstan? Is it Malay, Bishkek or Moroni? The answer is Bishkek. Question four. Victoria is the capital of which island nation? Fiji, Malta or Seychelles? The correct answer is Seychelles. Five. Which city is the capital of Suriname and serves as its largest city? Georgetown, Paramaribo, or Caracas? Is it Georgetown, Paramaribo, or Caracas? The answer is Paramaribo. Six. Which Himalayan country has its capital called Thimphu? Bhutan, Singapore, or Brunei? The correct answer is Bhutan. Seven. Which country has been recognised for having rich oil reserves and its capital is Bandar Seri Begawan? Malaysia, Brunei or Jakarta? Apologies if there's any mispronunciations on these questions. Uh, the answer to question seven is Brunei. Question eight. What was the former name of the country now known as Eswatini? Is it Suva, Mbabane, or Swaziland? The answer is Swaziland. Question nine. Port Villa is the capital of which South Pacific country? Fiji, Vanuatu, or Solomon Islands? The correct answer is Vanuatu. Question 10. Libreville is the capital of which African country? Gabon, Guinea or Gambia? The answer is Gabon. Question 11. Honiara is the capital of the and is known for its history from World War II. Fill in that blank. Is it Sao Tome, Solomon Islands, or Papua New Guinea? The answer is Solomon Islands. 12. Apia is the capital of Samoa, known for being the birthplace of author Robert Louis Stevenson. Is that statement true or false? That is false. 13. Djibouti is the capital known for its strategic location near the Gulf of Aden. Is that statement true or false? That statement is true. Question 14. Dili 
is the capital of Timor Leste. Is that true or false? The answer is true. 15. Ashgabat is the capital of Turkmenistan, known for its glass architecture. True or false? That is false. 16. Moroni is the capital of the Comoros, known for its coastal beauty. True or false? Make the most of these 50-50 questions. Make sure you're having a guess, even if you're not sure. The answer to that one is true. Moroni is the capital of the Comoros. 17. The capital of Malta is Medina. Is that true or false? The capital of Malta is not Medina, so that is false. 18. Majuro is the capital of the Marshall Islands, known for its beautiful lagoons. True or false? That statement is true. 19. Vaduz is the capital of Andorra that is known for its medieval castle. True or false? False. 20. Vaduz is the capital of Liechtenstein. True or false? That statement is true. Now we're going to move on from our capitals round to some questions about physics. What principle states that energy in an isolated system is constant? Conservation of mass, charge or energy? The principle we're looking for is the conservation of energy. What is it called when light bends around an object? Diffraction, refraction or reflection? When light bends around an object, it's called diffraction. 23. Werner Heisenberg is known for the formulation of which principle? Uncertainty principle, correspondence principle, or principle of superposition? The correct answer is the uncertainty principle. 24. What temperature corresponds to minimum entropy? Absolute zero, boiling point, or freezing point? The answer is absolute zero. 25. What wave has oscillations perpendicular to its direction of travel? Surface, transverse, or longitudinal? What wave has oscillations perpendicular to its direction of travel? The answer is transverse. 26. What is the effect called when a wave's frequency changes due to movement? Compton effect, Doppler effect, or Heisenberg effect? That is the Doppler effect. 27. The W and Z bosons mediate which force? Electromagnetic, gravitational, or weak nuclear force? The answer is weak nuclear force. 28. According to the Pauli exclusion principle, identical fermions cannot share the same of orbital, energy level, or quantum state. 
The answer is quantum state. 29. What is it called when a material has zero electrical resistance? Magnetism, superconductivity, or ferromagnetism? When a material has zero electrical resistance, it is called superconductivity. 30. What is the effect called when light bends around a massive object? Refraction effect, photoelectric effect, or gravitational lensing? The answer is gravitational lensing. Question 31. Which constant is known as the Planck constant? C, H, or G? The answer is H. 32. Emission is when an electron moves to a lower energy level and absorbs a photon, emits a photon, or gains energy. The answer is emits a photon. 33. Inertia describes an object's resistance to changes in terms of mass, speed, or motion. The answer is motion. 34. According to which theorem is the volume integral of divergence equal to the flux through a closed service? Gauss's theorem, Stokes's theorem, or Poincaré's theorem? The answer is Gauss's theorem. 35. The azimuthal quantum number describes the angular momentum of an electron in which part of an atom? Spin, shell, or orbital? The azimuthal quantum number describes the angular momentum of an electron in which part of an atom? The answer is orbital. 36. What is the term for emission when an atom returns to its ground state? Fluorescence emission, absorption emission, or spontaneous emission? The answer is spontaneous emission. 37. What is the term for splitting a heavy nucleus to release energy? Fission, fusion, or radiation? The answer is fission. 38. What does quantum entanglement refer to? Energy levels, correlated particles, or wave interference? Quantum entanglement refers to correlated particles. 39. Which law states that current is directly proportional to voltage? Coulomb's law, Ohm's law, or Faraday's law? The answer is Ohm's law. 40. Photoelectric effect is the process where light ejects what from material? Ejects atoms, electrons, or protons? The answer is electrons. 41 is going to be our first question in our Olympic Games section of this quiz. Which city hosted the first Winter Olympic Games in 1924 and is known for its alpine skiing events? Oslo, Chamonix or St. Moritz? Oslo, Chamonix or St. Moritz? The answer is Chamonix. 42. De Hart Hubbard was the first what athlete to win a gold medal at the Olympics? Were they the first African-American, Canadian-American or European-American to win a gold medal at the Olympics? The answer is African-American. Question 43. Which country won the most gold medals at the 1980 Moscow Olympics? USA, Turkey 
or Soviet Union. The answer is Soviet Union. 44, Charlotte Cooper was the blank female athlete to win a gold medal in the Olympics. Was Charlotte Cooper the first, second, or third female athlete to win a gold medal? The answer is first. 45. In which city did Cuba notably boycott the 1984 Olympics? Barcelona, Moscow, or Los Angeles? The answer is Los Angeles. Question 46. Following whose achievement did Mark Spitz hold the record for most gold medals won in an Olympics? Ian Thorpe, Michael Phelps, or Caleb Dressel? The answer is Michael Phelps. 47. In which Olympics was synchronised swimming introduced? Atlanta 1992, Seoul 1984, or Los Angeles 1984? Synchronised swimming was introduced in Los Angeles in 1984. Panhellenic Games was the original name of the Olympic Games held in which country? Egypt, Greece or Turkey? The Panhellenic Games. The answer is Greece. Question 49. Which country won the first gold medal at the 1896 Olympics? Greece, USA or Germany? The answer is USA. 50. In which year did handball first appear at the Munich Olympics? 1968, 1970 or 1972? The answer is 1972. 51. Polo was removed from the Olympics and returned in which year? 1920, 1924 or 1928? The answer is 1924. 52. Who competed in both the Summer and Winter Olympic Games? Eric Hayden? Eddie Egan or Clara Hughes? The answer is Eddie Egan. 53. Which city held the 1904 Olympics but experienced issues with international participation? Was it Berlin, Paris or St. Louis? The answer is St. Louis. 54. What was the marathon distance set at the 1908 London Olympics? 24.5 miles, 25 miles, or 26.2 miles? The answer is 26.2 miles. 55. Which event at the 1904 St. Louis Games is no longer in the Olympics? Croquet, tug of war, or baseball? So none of those were in this year's Olympic Games, but croquet was in the 1904 Olympics. Which nation took home the most gold medals from the Rio Olympics in 2016? Was it the UK, USA, or Greece? The answer is the USA. 57. The Stockholm Olympic Games saw the debut of the modern what? Marathon, decathlon or pentathlon? The Stockholm Olympic Games saw the debut of the modern pentathlon. The answer is pentathlon. On to question 58. 
Norway was the first to win an Olympic gold medal in which sport? Skiing, ice hockey or badminton? The answer is skiing. Question 59. Who carried the Olympic flame from Olympia to Berlin in 1936? Karl Diem, Fritz Schilgen, or Demetrius Lundras? The answer is Fritz Schilgen. The 1992 Barcelona Olympics introduced which team of NBA stars for basketball? All-Stars team, Dream team, or super Superstars team? The answer is the Dream Team. Now we're moving on to some questions about inventors. Who patented the first commercial electric typewriter? Was that James Smathers, Richard H. Smith, or George Blickensturfer? The answer is George Blickensturfer. Which type of engine was first commercially created by Charles Taylor? Airplane engine, car engine, or marine engine? The correct answer is airplane engine. 63. Who created the first useful electric fish lure? Nikola Tesla, Nakaoka Shintaro, or Hiroshi Kurokawa? The correct answer is Nakaoka Shintaro. 64. Which type of solar device is said to have been invented first by Auguste Mouchou? Solar oven, solar heater or solar panel? The answer is solar oven. Question 65. Which kind of pencil was patented by Samson Morden in 1822, coloured pencil, graphite pencil, or mechanical pencil? The answer is mechanical pencil. 66. Carl Benz developed the first gasoline powered automobile in which year? 1880, 1885, or 1890? The answer is 1885. Question 67. Alva Fisher is known for inventing the first electric what? Fan, refrigerator, or washing machine? Alva Fisher is known for inventing the first electric washing machine. That's your answer. Question 68, hope you're keeping up. What type of printing press was first created by Richard March home? Was it the letterpress, rotary or lithographic? The answer is rotary. 69. Who is acknowledged with creating the typewriter's QWERTY keyboard layout? Richard H. Smith, James Densmore or Christopher Scholes? The answer is Christopher Scholes. 70. When did Charles Craters invent the automatic popcorn machine? 1885, 1893 or 1900? The answer is 1893. 71. Frank Shaler invented the first practical electric what? Fan, toaster, or iron? The answer is toaster. 72. In the early 1900s, who created the first razor sold as a disposable product? Was it Schick, Braun, or Gillette?
The answer is Gillette. Who invented the Tesla coil? Nikola Tesla, Michael Tesla, or Joseph Tesla? The answer is Nikola Tesla. 74, in which century did the motion camera become an efficient device? 17th century, 18th century, or 19th century? The answer is the 19th century. Who invented the first electric vacuum cleaner? James Dyson? John S. Thurman, or Hubert Cecil Booth. The answer is Hubert Cecil Booth. 76. Philip Deal designed the first electric what? Fan, vacuum cleaner, or iron? The answer is fan. 77. When did Elman Strauger invent the first commercial telephone switchboard system? 1881, 1891, or 1991? The answer is 1891. Question 78. Who invented the mechanical air conditioner in 1902? Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, or Willis Haviland Carrier? The answer is Willis Haviland Carrier. 79. Who created the first working Polaroid camera in the 1950s? Steve Jobs, Henry Ford, or Edwin Land? The answer is Edwin Land. And question 80. What type of appliance did Percy Spencer create in the 1940s? Did he create the air conditioner, microwave oven, or refrigerator? Percy Spencer created the microwave oven. We're now going to move on to some questions about English phrases. What does to throw someone under the bus mean? To help someone, to blame someone, or to ignore someone? If you're throwing someone under the bus, you are blaming someone. 82. What does to be on tenter hooks mean? To be relaxed, to be confused, or to be anxious? The answer is to be anxious. Question 83. Which phrase means to dodge a topic? Call it a day, hit the nail on the head, or beat around the bush? The answer is beat around the bush. 84. What does to throw a spanner in the works mean? To finish a task, to cause a disruption, or to explain something. If I was to throw a spanner in the works during conversation, I'd be trying to cause a disruption. 85. What does to take something with a grain of salt mean? To accept it sceptically, to improve it, or to embrace it fully? If you take something with a grain of salt, you are accepting it sceptically. Which phrase means to complicate things, to add fuel to the fire, to cut corners, or to break the ice? The answer is to add fuel to the fire. 87. What does to be in someone's good books mean? To be grateful, to be ignored, or to be favoured? The 
The answer is to be favoured. 88. Which expression means to do something on the fly? To wing it, to take it easy, or to play it safe? If you're doing something on the fly, you are going to wing it. Question 89. What does to let the cat out of the bag mean? To be quiet, to keep a secret, or to reveal a secret? The answer is to reveal a secret. 90. What is the meaning of the phrase to be a dark horse? To be a surprise contender, to be uninvolved, or to be predictable? And the answer is to be a surprise contender. Now we're going to move on to some questions about international organisation. SIL International focuses on the protection of which type of language? Endangered languages? Modern languages? Or traditional languages? The answer is endangered languages. 92. What does IAEA stand for? International Atomic Energy Agency, International Advanced Education Association, or International Agency for Economic Affairs? IAEA stands for International Atomic Energy Agency. 93. Garvey Alliance is dedicated to which program? Climate change, food security, or global vaccination? The answer is global vaccination. 94. The Asian Development Bank, ADB, is recognised for its focus on promoting the education, global health, or economic and social development. This is question 94. And the correct answer that we are looking for is economic and social development. 95. Which organisation promotes global women's rights and gender equality? UN Women, Global Fund for Women, or International Federation of Women? The correct answer is UN Women. 96. Which organisation is in charge of coordinating collaboration among countries in space? NASA, IAF, or UNOOSA? The answer is UNOOSA. 97. What is IFAD's mission? To support healthcare? to promote urban development, or to reduce poverty in remote areas. The answer is to reduce poverty in remote areas. Question 98. Which organisation preserves cultural heritage? IMF, UNESCO, or ICCROM? The answer is I-C-C-R-O-M. 99. The WFTO is dedicated to the promotion of what practices? Fair trade practices, environmental practices, or health practices? The answer is fair trade practices. Question 100. The International Oceanographic Commission, IOC, promotes sharing among which profession? 
marine scientist, geologists, or botanists. The IOC promotes sharing among marine scientists. And a bonus question, what does UNESCO stand for? Let us know the answer to that one in the comments. And while you're there, you can let us know how many points you scored, because that's the end of the quiz. So take a look at our quiz class Einstein reward system. And remember to let us know how you ranked based on your points. Are you an explorer, apprentice, enthusiast, master or champion? Either way, thanks a lot for playing this quiz and joining us today at quiz class. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications on all of our upcoming videos. In the meantime, though, there are quizzes already uploaded that you can try right now. My name's Ellis and I've been your host today. Thanks again for joining us at Quiz Class and we'll see you next time.